Welcome to Fluke Corporation. We're located about 30 miles north of Seattle in Everett, Washington, and have been building professional electronic test equipment ever since the 1940s. I'm excited about some new kits for uh, designed for automotive, specifically for you, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm Corey Glassman. I'm the Automotive Program Manager. Today we're going to take a look inside the meter. We're going to replace some fuses. We're going to take a look at the battery and the electronic shields and the protection inside the meter. We're also going to be taking a tour around the outside of the meter. We're going to use the rotary switch and some other little buttons located on it to get access to a number of different functions. We're also going to be connecting to an electronic simulator board and then we're going to take a look out in the shop and actually put them to work. Now follow along in your manual, grab your meter, and let's get going. We've assembled a number of different meters that are designed by their specific capabilities, starting all the way from the 10 series into the 70 series, which you're probably familiar with, up to the 80 series, which in fact has the Fluke 88, which is one of the top meters out there in automotive land. We're also introducing a brand new meter, one of the most powerful meters on the market today, the Fluke 89 Series 4. It has up to 250 millionths of a second glitch detect to find those unwanted occurrences that can cause a powertrain control module to reset. We've selected a nice case to keep it in over the years and we've assembled the, each meter in a kit so you can select from those kits the product that meets your needs. We've also put together three application kits. The application kits deal with current up to 400 amps. Another one deals with low current down to 50 milliamps in 10 milliamp resolution. Great for the keep alive memory, the fuel pump testing, all these different things out there that provide just very low currents that we have to monitor over time. We also have a third kit that's designed for infrared temperature, pre and post catalytic converter measurements up to 1,000 degrees, and it also deals with pressure up to 350 degrees or 350 psi, so we can go ahead and replace some of these, these inaccurate analog gauges that we've had over time. We also have a number of other accessories and clips that you'll see throughout the program. Those are all available. 